Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Merchant Navy Decoded. Uh, here we are again with an interview with Ganesh, who just got selected in, in ECM as an uh, electrical technical officer. And he has bought our electrical packages. Uh, so please welcome Ganesh for his interview. How are you, Ganesh? Yes, I'm good. Thank you so much. I hope you are doing well. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, so Ganesh, uh, let's start our interview for our viewers. So Ganesh, firstly, introduce yourself to our audience. What is your family okay. background? Uh, how was your, how was your studies? How was your family background? Kaisa hai? Please introduce yourself. Okay, so uh, my full name is Ganesh Edge. I have completed my B.Tech in Electrical from Navi Mumbai. Okay. And uh, in 2023, I completed my uh, engineering. And after okay. that, I was working in uh, one finance company. Okay. But uh, from initially only, I wanted to join the uh, Merchant Navy. As an okay. uh, first, like uh, four years ago, I wanted to join as a deck cadet. But okay. then uh, my parents insisted that I should get some degree. So I took okay. electrical engineering. And after that, after completion, I waited for a year. And then I got uh, admission in SEMS Institute. And I got sponsorship from ESM. Okay. So that's how journey is. And uh, my parents, uh, my father was uh, in transports. Okay. And my mother is a housewife. So, yeah. Okay. Currently, I'm here. So, Ganesh, you're basically from Mumbai only, right? Yeah, Mumbai. Navi Mumbai. Okay. You are from Navi Mumbai. Okay. So, Ganesh, uh, how did you come across this merchant navy field? Who was the inspiration? From where do you get to know about this field? Uh, actually, uh, I was on a trip uh, to Mahablesh with uh, one of my friends and uh, his friend was an ETO officer, is an ETO officer. Okay. So, uh, I was doing electrical and my friend uh, was in electronics engineering. So, he just introduced, he said that, okay, you should do, uh, you know, uh, ETO, there is some course called as ETO, then you can join, you have a big salary and all, all of those things. Because he is from a village area and he joined as an ETO. So, it was a big inspiration that, you know. Um, with with less knowledge and with less support, he was okay. able to make into the uh, in merchant navy. So yes. we thought, okay, we have been given a good uh, education. We should also try. So from there, we started to search. We started searching and got some ideas. Then I saw your YouTube channel. Then you know I had some chat with Pranit sir. Okay. Uh, I saw some other YouTubers also, and then I bought a package for my uh, studies because I, I didn't know where to start from. So that is all. Okay, so basically, your father' occupation was on transportation. So he was running a business yeah. in transportation. No, no, he was like an agent. He was uh, like an agent, uh, like a middleman. Okay. In in yeah, you when you want to buy a vehicle, you directly cannot go to the you know showroom uh, okay. because there there is a lot of procedure and lengthy you know you need to know the details. So my father was uh, in the middleman. So he was just completing with uh, big clients. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Kanish, as you told that you were working in a finance company, right? Yes. So what was your work in a finance company? Uh, in uh, because of the COVID, uh, the college okay. was not there. So I completed my. Uh, I I had an interest in uh, stock market also. Okay. So I completed my some certifications through NISM. And uh, I was working in finance company there. I was managing. I was actually uh, trading uh, in okay. stocks. So I was managing around uh, 1.5 to 2 CR. So okay. the salary was good, but it was not satisfactory. And I had uh, a degree also. So I have both the knowledge. So I just uh, you know flip sometimes. Yes. Okay. So the conclusion is that you firstly you go for after 12 you go for your BTEC in electrical, and in the middle of your BTEC you came across this machine field. And in that middle of Correct. you, you thought of joining uh, Merchant Navy as a deck cadet, right? Yes. And after that, you only you join as an ETO, right? Correct. Okay. So from where did you start your preparation? How was your daily routine while preparing for this ETO course? How many hours in a day you you used to study? Only two hours in the evening. Okay. For uh, like a month or one and a two months. Okay. So you prepare for your sponsorship for in two months, right? Yeah, two months was enough for me. Okay. I had that practice, right? I was uh, used to watch okay. videos in day also, like one hour, evening, two hours is enough. Okay, so how did you find electrical package helpful in your preparation? 
it was very helpful because uh, at that time uh, at the beginning you know uh, we don't have idea we don't have idea like oh, what questions will going to be asked uh, what mm-hmm. are the topics which needs to be covered because electrical uh, subject uh, as a subject is a uh, vast so you really don't know what uh, can come in front of you so i was just mm-hmm. i i started watching few videos um the things which were tougher to me i just skipped those because i thought okay later i'll get some uh, idea from uh, teach one of the teacher but yeah that helped me a lot and then uh, when the interview came uh, they were really uh, helpful the interviewer also and uh, it was like a normal chat and then they asked mm-hmm. the concepts some basic concepts few questions and then it was like uh, some general knowledge then it okay. was good and all of that thing is covered in electrical package right yeah everything okay they ask very basic questions they do not ask like in deep so in deep okay that, uh, yes so esm was your first uh, company for which you you tried or before esm yeah, yeah, it, this, okay. so your first no, company no, was no, ECM. No. Yeah, esm yes okay ESM, esm okay so ganesh what are your planning after what are your future goals i mean to say what are your future goals after joining as an eto in merchant navy uh initially we need experience right so right. the goal is to join uh, as an eto and after sailing a few ships uh, the goal is to join the cruise ships because as you know the cruise ship gives you a good good salary rather than joining tanker or can okay so your main focus is to join cruise long term goal right yeah. yes okay. so uh, my last question is uh, what advice would you like to give to the upcoming eto aspirants those who are preparing for the eto examination what should they focus on and what your advice on your end my advice is that uh, they should focus on uh, because uh, many of the students are really scared of the interview but uh, no need to be scared uh, they ask very basic questions no need to study uh, very deeply but uh, needs to cover a lot of uh, areas of uh, electrical because they can ask a question from anywhere but they will ask very basic questions they will not uh, go in depth so that is the first point and second one is the confidence they check the confidence your communication skill how do you communicate and uh, you know how do you uh, answer the, their questions even if you don't know uh, the, the the advice is to say that i don't know i'll read upon it so they will ask next question if you give wrong answer they are smart right they are not fool people so that is the advice yeah okay uh, thank you ganesh for joining for the today session it was really nice talking to you okay uh, yes. thank you everyone for watching our video this was uh, this time was really good with uh, ganesh and as ganesh has cleared his uh, sponsorship for esm after getting our electrical package now it's your time to clear your uh, sponsorship and get an good career in merchant navy so so link for the eto excellence package is in the description box uh, i will advise you all to go and click in the description box and get it. and enroll our e2 excellence package right okay thank you ganesh for joining us this was really nice talking to you okay have a nice day thank you so much thank you so much